SMT Nation, we back. Nation, you're probably wondering why I put this crazy looking document up on the screen. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, it's kind of important. You know, T-Mobile's making a move here, and it's making its rounds for clearance through the FCC. They're the ones that regulate these types of deals. Let's talk about it here in today's video. A uh, link for the FCC.gov document page for this will be provided down in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. Alright folks, so if you have been living under a rock, T-Mobile has been acquiring everything that is and isn't for sale. US Cellular, uh, fiber providers, they're trying to make partnerships right for wireline access. It's a busy time. It's been busy since the T-Mobile and Sprint merger. Anyways, this most recent thing is T-Mobile getting involved in a joint venture with an investment firm to buy a fiber provider. So a little bit of details on this dating back to April, uh, T-Mobile essentially teaming up with investment firm EQT as a joint venture. They're putting up a billion dollars as a front end 50% investment into the JV uh, for Lumos, which is a fiber wireline operator in like the Carolina area. Uh, so that basically means they've, they've got this shared partnership to buy Lumos. And because Lumos is a home internet broadband, business broadband provider, right, infrastructure access, this is going to be overseen and regulated by the FCC as pictured here on the screen. All right, now T-Mobile does sell 5G home internet, and they also sell their T-Fiber through different partnerships and open access platforms, uh, but this would actually make them an owner, right? They'd be the owner of a company that builds and maintains fiber and uh and, and broadband uh some of the specifics i know lumos serves i think 320,000 households in like three states maybe uh virginia north carolina south carolina were the ones that came up initially i'm not sure if there's any other little pockets or parts um but i do know that t-mobile did say that they wanted to get to a point where they were reaching 3.5 million homes so they would basically you know, 10 X their reach, uh, at some point in the next few years, right? In the next four or five years or something. So that's pretty lofty goals. Uh, clearly Lumos has plans to expand. And I think with a billion dollars going into the company from both EQT and T-Mobile, that that's a lot of capital that they can build. Right. Uh, now, even just as a standalone company, just as a wireless home internet company, T-Mobile is actually like a top five largest internet service provider just based on subscriber counts, right? They have like, I don't know if they, they're going to hit the 6 million mark soon. If it doesn't happen during Q2, it's probably going to happen during Q3 of this year. So they have customers in reach. So their brand along with this deal should be something I think notable for the industry. The FCC is now opening up comment for this transaction. In my estimation, I don't think they're going to block this. I don't think there's going to be any regulatory issue. I just don't see it. And honestly, I, you know, we haven't been seeing much for regulation anyways. Nobody is, you know, nobody stopped any of these recent prepaid transactions. Uh, you know, you pick <laughs> which one it was. Uh, things have been kind of floating through. So I guess, you know, just more of the same, I suppose. Anyways, what do you guys think about... This whole Lumos deal, what do you think about the structure of it? Uh, any objection to it? They got this open comment, so I guess you could, you know, put in your two cents if you wanted to. But go ahead and drop one here. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.